Hello, this is Terry Dorrington from Kunganisha Ministries, and we are taking our last look at the Gospel of John, chapter 3, and we're looking at now verses 31 to 36. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks as one from the earth. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted it has certified that God is truthful, for the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for God gives the Spirit without limit. The Father loves the Son and has placed everything in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. So John continues his testimony of Jesus and proclaims his divinity. John is announcing that his ministry must decrease, while Jesus' ministry should increase, because he comes from heaven and is above all. Because Jesus is the incarnate God, he is above John too, and he is humble enough to recognise this fact and bows to Jesus' ever-increasing popularity. The Apostle Paul writes in Romans chapter 9, verse 5, Theirs are the patriarchs, and from them is traced the human and ancestry of the Messiah, who is God over all, forever praised. Amen. Paul spreads the word of Christ, who is God, and the John the Baptist before him proclaims Jesus as son of God too. John also tells us that Jesus proclaims his message about what he has seen and heard in heaven above but nobody believes him but how true is that today man to st man today speaks of earthly things because they come from the world and fail to see the spiritual truths that can be learned from jesus christ increasingly in western culture people want evidence they want signs and wonders before they believe they believe that science holds all the answers but it doesn't it only gives a glimpse as to how God's creation works. But as Christians, we don't believe because we have seen. We have seen because we believe. It is all to our credit that we continue to believe despite the seemingly growing opposition. We know the truth and continue to believe, even if, amongst our peers, we are the only ones. The truth is spoken by Jesus because it comes from God. We know that and, and continue to believe it, and eternal life will be ours. But woe to those who don't believe, for God's wrath will remain on them.